like several other indigenous cultures aboriginal culture is about storytelling so Dumri, he was laying down and he walked to the bank one time and when he was down by the bank he saw a crocodile laying down on the bank and he asked that ganyara ganyara is that crocodile he asked ganyara what's, what's wrong why are you upset why are you crying why are you laying here on this bank and then the crocodile said to him well i have no teeth i can't actually eat anything and Damri said well i'll go into the mangroves and i'll carve you out some teeth and he did it out of the white mangroves and he gave him his teeth after he gave him his teeth the crocodile ganyara looked at him and said well what can i eat Damri said well you can take my leg and then so the crocodile jumped up and took his leg out of that story we get two lessons right? one lesson is whenever we go hunting or fishing we light three fires in three different spots okay that's to confuse the crocodile so he doesn't know where we're sitting along that bank all right the other one is we always watch the water when we're up here at far north queensland okay whenever we're by the water's edge we're always wary of the crocodile and we know stories that. connect everything life art crafts and music so we'll actually show you first then we'll get you to paint it Yep. All right. Once we get you to paint it, you'll then learn the song yes. to that painting. Yes. After you learn the song to that painting, then you will start to learn the dance mm -hmm. to that painting as well. So Amanda Healy, based in Perth, Western Australia, takes these stories and translates them into beautiful apparel and accessories. Amanda is from the Wanarua Nation, the traditional custodians of the Hunter Valley in New South Wales, Australia. Amanda launched Kirikin in 2014. Kirikin is an Aboriginal word that translates into Sunday's best clothing. Kirikins, clothes, scarves and ties feature artwork by contemporary Australian indigenous artists. Okay, so this here is called Magra. Alright, so that's a little bit brown Magra and this is our white Magra. They're both clay. Okay, both this one comes from a clay rock. This one comes from a clay bank within a river or a creek. Kirikin is a social enterprise and shares profits with indigenous Australian artists. It is popular in the US, Europe and Australia. And softens the skin as well when it goes on. So you'll notice on there, it's kinda, kinda like a bit silky, gritty. bit yeah. gritty kinda feeling to it. All right, and then after a while, what happens is they'll dry really nice and white and clear. So the way is there a difference between men and women like yep men and women so with our men we'll actually do a mark over the nose and then we'll make it into a triangle mm -hmm. uh, so that represents a scorpion mm -hmm. and then for our women you'll just put a kind of a bridge over the nose an arc over the nose and they'll identify you as our women all right and then on top of your forehead you'll put three dots just into the top of the forehead or as many that fits on the forehead mm -hmm. uh, and that will then identify you as uh, women okay or you'll have visitor markings as well okay so different places different meanings uh, different markings as well so for our young boys here um, if they was in cans over the nose and into a triangle onto the face so just like Isaac's is here yeah. um, that'll be the representative of Yirinji on the inside there so when we go through this here in our painting now, this is where someone who is older than us mm -hmm. will actually paint us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I went through many years of not painting myself 
but my older cousins would paint would me. Paint you. And mm. then when I got old enough then, I could paint myself, but then I have to paint the younger generation mm. coming through. Help out. So then I help out paint all of them lot. And then when they get old enough, they then help the younger generation again in painting themselves as well. That's the way that we use a method for learning um, so that it's passed down, the information's passed down and then they actually are doing it and learning hands-on mm -hmm. um, so they know the designs by the time they get to 25 they'll know all of them because you want your paint to be really nice for your dance you know? mm. that's right mm. that's right mm. it also helps yeah. for our identification mm. Mm. so within the bush so you want to be making sure you know not killing your not, own yeah people. that's right you know <laughs> you want to know what everybody looks like what the paint looks like yeah. so you can identify who comes from where that's right. So a morable is a headdress. Okay. Mm. Okay, our headdress is what we use with our bunda, which is our grass skirt. So we'll have our bunda on, we'll have our so our grass skirt, we'll have that on, we'll have a morable mm. which goes around mm -hmm. the head, mm -hmm. and then we have feathers that come out to the back and stick up like our that. On, okay. We've got our lap laps on mm -hmm. and then we are ready to go. What's okay. a lap lap? Our lap lap is our material that we use as a jarija jarija is more like your underpants okay okay yeah so that's more of a wrapping for mm. us and then we'll put over the bunda which is our grass skirt kirikin has won an award through the Export Council of Australia. Kirikin was a finalist in the National Awards in 2016. Amanda herself has won the prestigious Indigenous in Business Award. She was a finalist at the Telstra Businesswoman of the Year Award. And boomerang. <laughs> Kirikin gives back to the community. It runs an arts program for the Aboriginal women in the Swan Valley of Western Australia. Since its inception, Kirikin has been involved with the Starlight Foundation raising funds for children's hospital. Other than that, Kirikin is involved with several smaller charities. This is a strangler fig and a strangler fig always attaches to a host tree okay which in this instant here our host tree is actually slowly died off and the fig uh, has taken over. Mm. If we look at these two trees here and, um, and what it could symbolize it could symbolize Australia and its two histories. They say our indigenous history, which being the host tree, and then um, having the other part of our history being the Australian history, being the strangler fig, all right, which has slowly, slowly tried to uh, kill the host. Um, and slowly, slowly it's taken over. Um, but we know that the host is the main people or the main foundation for this to grow. That no matter the differences between the two trees, they need each other to survive. Okay, yep. one being the host holding all the knowledge and the nutrients, mm. the other being the invader that needs that knowledge and that nutrients to survive for itself. They both hold each other up and support each other within its growth. Okay, and that's where we get all of our connections. If we look at um, the host tree and the invader tree, they've actually now become one mm -hmm. and they're now working together. Have a think about where you are on your own journey. Okay? Have a mm. think about where you are in your life. Mm -hmm. Have you done a lot of the things that you wanted to do? Mm. Do you have some regrets? Would you like to go back and change some mistakes? Mm. You know, or maybe you're happy on your journey. You're now in the middle of your journey and you want to discover more about mm. your life. Or maybe you're at the end of your journey now mm. and you want to sh share all your discoveries that you've made along your journey. 
But in talking about our journey, and for whatever reason, on this one day, we have both come together to share a moment in each other's lives, okay? And we hopefully, that connection there between us here now is something that you can walk away with. And every time you think about Green Island, you can think about this connection that we have made here today. And with an Aboriginal culture, that connection is something that we hold strong. Yeah, yeah.